In the last video we measured the uh, voltage across these LEDs that are kind of wired like mini solar cells uh, with the oscilloscope directly. We did not get a terribly good uh, measurement. This is in fact the voltage creeping up due to uh, the lamp off to the side and at its lowest setting. And uh, it just looks bright because of the settings I have on the uh, camera. But in uh, any case, uh, there, I can discharge them with my finger. Now let's get to the main measurement. So I was measuring this with the uh, oscilloscope directly in the last video and you can see we didn't get anywhere near the voltage that we have there so we're actually measuring the output of an op amp this is the LM358 wired as a voltage follower so the voltage we're giving to the non-inverting input is being transferred to the output it's providing enough power to uh, hold the uh, voltage reading but there you can see we kind of leveled off there so now in the diagram, I used a uh, flashlight I drew to indicate that we're shining light on LEDs for this circuit. And here you can see how we're uh, building up the voltage. So we got the LEDs, uh, the anode is uh, towards, for all of them, the non-inverting input there to uh, measure our uh, voltage, actually transfer the voltage to the output. And you can see that uh, long lead anode on top for all three of these, short lead the cathode down lower. Now we have to establish where zero volts is in the circuit since we're putting it to a circuitry that we are powering. So we put the negative sides to ground, but that doesn't help charge or discharge it. Um, so yeah, they're charging the capacitor there. So it's 47 microfarad capacitor. You can use a low value uh, capacitor. So in any case, uh, the top of this, I know it's kind of clustered there, is headed over to the non-inverting input. And over here we have the op amp, which we wired as a voltage follower. So the uh, non-inverting input is lower on the physical component than the inverting input. That is the output out there. Um, but on the schematic, I swapped them because it just looks better the way that I drew it than if I had the non-inverting uh, down there. Um, so I always pay close attention to where the uh, inputs are on the schematic because uh, it's fixed on the physical component, but it could be in either space base there. So we're using the LM358. There's two of them. We're only using one right there. But in any case, when you have the output fed directly back to the inverting input with the op amps, the voltage out always wants to be more like the non-inverting input than the inverting input. So when you feed it back directly, that means it shoots up or down as needed to become the exact same voltage. It's a voltage follower. So that's the output voltage. And it can provide a lot more current uh, at that voltage than uh, this, this load here. This is really weak. Um, you wouldn't actually power anything uh, significant with a circuit like this. You would just use a solar cell. But in uh, any case, uh, we got that voltage out. It's trying to be the same. A tiny bit does leak through those inputs, but not much. And it was definitely a lot less leakage than what we had through the oscilloscope measuring it directly. And uh, so that's the point of this. There's op amps that would do a better job, um, but this one was good enough for this video. So in any case, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed.